San Ysidro shops like Carolyn Shoes have long been a magnet for Mexican shoppers from Tijuana. Wardrobe items are often cheaper here than in Mexico. Tijuana residents buy stuff in bulk for their whole families or to resell south of the border. Owner Olivia Campos says sales have plummeted nearly 70% since President Trump was elected. Hay clientes que cruzan dos o tres veces a la semana por mercancía porque nomás tienen, pueden cruzar cierta cantidad para, para México, entonces tienen que hacer varios cruces. Entonces ya esas personas ya a veces ya nomás vienen una sola vez a la semana en lugar de dos o tres veces que venían a comprarnos. She says when she asks her customers what's going on, they say they're afraid of Trump's hardline stance on immigration. The more they cross the border, the more they expose themselves to the possibility of getting their papers taken away for an unexpected reason. Tienen miedo de que les quiten sus pasaportes, sus green cards. Mucha gente está diciendo hasta que les están checando los celulares. To top it off, the Mexican peso is plummeting. And Mexicans who are angry about Trump's rhetoric on immigration are organizing boycotts of U.S. products. Also, protests of rising gas prices in Mexico have closed the southbound port of entry repeatedly this year. Finally, there's anecdotal evidence that Mexico has been taking a more hardline stance toward visitors from the U.S. as retaliation for Trump's immigration proposals. That's reducing Mexicans' interest in shopping here as well. Shopper Delia Frasco was looking at shoes at Carolyn Inc. She says two weeks ago, a Mexican official asked for her papers when she was crossing back into Tijuana. Y le digo, ¿por qué estás pidiendo? Si, si, si no, antes no lo estaban pidiendo, ahora ¿por qué lo estás haciendo? She says Mexican customs officials also made her pay a $60 tax to cross a blanket she'd purchased here. These binational tensions are really scaring off consumers, says the owner, Campos. She says she hopes Mexico and the U.S. improve their relationship soon so things can go back to normal. Jean Guerrero, KPBS News.